Well, hello everybody. It's with excitement that I make this announcement to all of you. The board of your church and myself have met many times. We've considered all of the things we believe we need to consider and are taking the precautions we need to take. So this Sunday, August 23rd, we will return to indoor worship here at Milan Free Methodist. Our services will be at nine and 11. They'll be spaced two hours apart to allow the building to be sanitized for uh, the second service. Um, but I want to assure you that uh, we looked into everything and we appreciate the input from a lot of you that we got. Uh, we made the best decision we could with input from our conference superintendent, uh, local health organizations, insurance companies, and many more people. So the decision has been made to return to indoor worship. We'll be doing this again this Sunday, the 23rd of August at 9 and 11. Pastor Alex will now be able to walk, or will spend some time walking you through the many protocols we've taken and safety precautions. Uh, there are a lot of them and we're trying to get you prepped for what to expect, but bring your mask, come at nine o'clock this Sunday. We'll see you in church. I'm gonna be going over some of the safety procedures and precautions that we put in place as a church to make sure that this is a safe worship experience for anyone to attend. The first thing you need to know is that masks are required except for those who are under five years of age. And we ask that you keep those masks on at all times in our building. The second thing you need to know is that we, ask, we are asking separate households to sit four chairs away from one another. This is to maintain social distancing as we enter into indoor worship service. The next thing you need to know is that all of our services will be contactless, meaning there will be no bulletin, no communion, and no passing of the plates as it stands currently. The bulletin will still be mailed or emailed as you prefer. Um, communion, we are working hard to make sure that we can do this. Um, we are just waiting for some supplies to arrive or be in stock really. Uh, the giving will still be available through the black boxes in the back of the worship center or online at ffmchurch.org slash giving. Next thing you need to know is that there will be no Sunday school, no Sunday school classes, no children's ministry, and no coffee bar. Um, at this time, we do not feel that those are things that we can offer. We hope to offer them in the future, and we'll be working and planning for those to be offered eventually. And you will have more information about that as time progresses. The next thing we ask is that you leave service promptly. This is to make sure that everything is cleaned and sanitized before the next service. So after service ends, we ask that the back row leave first and then every row after that. Um, this is to make sure that we have plenty of time to clean and sanitize the building before the next service. Some of the other things that you may be curious about or want to know what we're doing particularly about is that we are sanitizing every high touch surface, meaning door handles, bathroom faucet knobs, anything that you think that you would touch, we are wiping it down. Uh, that includes our chairs. We're going to be spraying and sanitizing our chairs in between service. The other thing that you may, be, you may want to know is that our staff and volunteers will be going through a wellness and temperature check before they start volunteering. This is to make sure that those people who have higher contact with others, we've taken precautions in that and for them. We know that this is a major adjustment period for a lot of people. And we understand that some people may not be comfortable in an indoor worship setting yet. And for those who are, are not comfortable yet, we'll still be offering online services at 9 a.m. now instead of 10. So join us at 9 a.m. online or in person and at 11 a.m. in person for our worship services. We ask that you come with a joyful heart and you prepare your heart with joy. Um, we are excited to have you. It has been since March that we've had any worship service in the building. And we understand that that is um, a strange realization. Um, and so we want to make sure that everything is safe and in the right order for us to continue having indoor worship services. And so things, there may be updates on the way that we do things or changes in our procedure. Just know that they're in mind with your safety. So. If you are looking forward to coming, um, we look forward to seeing you and we hope to see you at, online or in person at 9 a.m. and in person at 11. Thank you.